That right there may not look spectacular, but it is the inspiration for today's shoot. Let me pop it down. More specifically, I'm talking about the colours in those trees out there. I really want to get out and try and capture them before autumn is over. And more specifically, I'm thinking today that I'm going to take the drone out to try and get a little bit of elevation and height to really make the colours pop and kind of see the vast scale of them. I have no idea how fast it is. I'm going to head out to the countryside here. I'm already in Surrey, but I'm going to head out a little bit further into the Surrey Hills to see what we can capture and get some nice landscape shots. But I wanted to talk a little bit about drones today because the drone I currently have has just been upgraded. I have a DJI Mini 3 Pro and it has just been upgraded to the Mini 4. I mean, I haven't upgraded. It has been released and I've been reading the specs and I just want to talk a bit about whether it's worth upgrading and really more than that is just my thoughts on the mini version of the drone because it is my favorite drone to date so let's pack up head out there and i will chat a little bit more about drones why i love the mini drones and hopefully we're going to capture some nice photos so um let's go <laughs> I love the DJI Mini 3 Pro so much is this really nice balance between portability and quality. The quality is great. I've had absolutely no issues and I've definitely, if I do say so myself, got some of my best footage with it in the past 18 months. Memorably, Croatia got an absolute haul. I shot all the time with the drone. It was so easy to get in and out of the bag and put up and really capture some beautiful images as well as video footage. Did that also in a port trip to Porto earlier this year um, and Bali and previous years I went to Germany and got my dream shot of the Disney fairy tale castle. So other than the quality and the portability combination, some other features that I really loved that were brought out in the DJI Mini Pro 3 were its stealth mode, obviously because it's so small, it's really easy to put up anywhere. It falls under that 250 gram weight limit so you don't have to register the drone and worry about laws and regulations as much. Um, vertical shooting, true vertical shooting was a game changer for me. I love being able to shoot in that vertical format both for social media and just for framing shots in general. Sometimes when you're up in the air, it's actually really nice to get that, that vertical shot and capture some of the foreground as well. And last but not least, the introduction of USB-C into the drone made functionality of using it, especially on the road, really, really good because I was able to charge it with a portable power bank in the car. Great on my first trip where I had only one battery and I managed just fine. So all of those things will be applicable to the DJI Mini Pro 4 as well. But let me go and chuck mine up, get some shots of this beautiful landscape here. It is looking so, so nice. And then I'll just tell you a little bit about the notable upgrades on the 4, which if you're looking to buy one, you might find interesting. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go fly first. Slight sidetrack on the way to fly the drone. Lovely old Chevy in the car park. Thanks. Warrants a few photos. Whoosh. Insert photos. Always a buzz of flying the drone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that footage. There was no colour that I was expecting, but still, 
the green green grass of home looked absolutely lovely so let me tell you a little bit about the upgrades that you would get if you got the newer DJI Mini Pro 4 which are you get better obstacle avoidance you get 4k at 100 frames per second you get 1080 at 200 frames per second and the biggie I think is you get 10 bit color so you can grade a lot better for me personally at this moment in time I am not going to upgrade I'm really really happy with the Mini Pro 3 I'm static with the footage and I can play to my heart's content with it and I really just love as you probably gathered throughout this video the portability versatility and quality combo but if you were buying now and you didn't have anything I would probably go for the four if you're if you've got the three mm, yeah, I'm thinking not to upgrade just yet let's see what comes next year but all to say I think if you're into photography and a little bit of videography as well and you want to get into a bit of aerial fo uh, photography really the mini pro lineup or the mini lineup if you like is absolutely excellent for most people's needs I think and a really really good price point as well something I should mention is the mini 3 comes in at 428 mini pro 3 and the new mini pro 4 comes in at 689 and that's in UK pounds um, so there is a bit of a price difference there as well couple of things to mention if I was buying again I would get the smart controller because I'm currently using my phone which is okay it's absolutely fine but I think the smart controller is just a bit easier and you don't have to worry about using your phone and getting notifications and you've just got it all ready to go so if I was to make any changes I would do that and I wish one change that uh, DJI would make on it is just to uh, make the props actually quick release I've never actually had to change a prop um, but for the mini ones you have to have a little screwdriver so make sure you always carry that in your bag and if you do have one of these as well I'd probably get some like uh, I don't know what you call them not prop guards it's a little sleeve to go over the drone to keep them compact because when they go in my bag sometimes they get a little bit bent up when I'm shoving it in there with a load of other stuff anyway I hope you found this video useful if you're uh, looking to maybe upgrade or buy a drone or just just wanted to enjoy some photography beautiful day out here lovely day to get out and shoot for a couple of hours onwards and upwards with the rest of Sunday and a big roast to come and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video